Hello everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. My name is Rob. Let's see what we're going to be doing now. We got another... We got the... Let's do a mission. A regular old story mission. Ah, uh, I think I know what this is. <coughs> ah, another flag. Let's go to the pigeon coop first and see. Now, armor and armor. Contracts deliver a warning. Let's go there. Let's do that. This is 13 now, but where? Oh, it's 18 now. It's this way, I bet. <coughs> I have never seen a stranger man, truly. You heard some when we started like that. Well, now it says 13. Volpe, how goes Roma? Very well, Ezio. The French and Papal forces are in disarray. Then it is almost time. Call the assassins together. And bring Claudia. Now? Yes. La Ashaya Wakton Mutlak, Bel Kulun Mumkin. The wisdom of our creed is revealed through these words. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Claudia, we here dedicate our lives to protecting the freedom of humanity. Mario, our father, 
The brother once stood around this fire, fighting off the darkness. Now, I offer the choice to you. Join us. I have not seen eye to eye on many issues. Niccolò! But you are exactly what the Order needed. You have led the charge against the Templars and rebuilt this brotherhood. Now we must put Ezio where he belongs, at the head of the Assassins. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. You will now be known as Il Mentore, the guardian of our Order and our secrets. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember, nothing, nothing is, is true. Where other men are limited by morality and law, remember, everything, everything is, is permitted. Why this sudden change of heart? I have always stood by you. I was the one who brought you to Roma, and the one who caused the explosion as you fled the castello. The mercenari who protected you at Il Colosseo were mine as well. You just did not know it. Maestro Machiavelli! Cesare has returned to Roma alone! He rides for the Castel Sant'Angelo! Grazie. Well? The decision is yours, not mine. Niccolò, you better not stop telling me what you think. Why else would I seek the opinion of my most trusted advisor? Go kill them, Mentore. Finish what you started. Good advice. I intend to write a book about you one day. If you do, make it short. Tomb, right? Layer of the... I thought there was another layer somewhere. Oh, there's two layers, okay. But let's head... Let's do one of these thief assignments. It wants us to leave the Animus, so let's do that. Let's see what they want now. I think we're getting close to the end, guys. The Brotherhood. To our welcome back, Desmond. Yeah, yeah, welcome back. Tell me, you take me out of it so I can check my email and talk to you guys, and you guys don't talk. Supplies, guys. 
Hey guys, I'm going into town tomorrow for supplies. My list is below. Am I forgetting anything? Apples, melon, banana, mango for Sean. Lettuce, cucumber, celery, tomatoes, carrots, eggs, milk, butter, fresh pasta, fresh bread. Chicken, ground beef, bacon, Canadian if they have it. Chips, hummus, buns, diet cola, orange juice, toilet paper, shampoo, AA, AAA, 9 volt batteries, red wine. And I can't respond to it. Okay, that's just telling you about... Okay, now let's see what these people have to say before we... Go back into the Animus. No, not Animus. It's Animus. But I call Animus. <laughs> Any good stories about Cesare? Are you kidding? He was notorious. Get this. In 1502, his top captains rebelled against him. He made concessions to all of them, and they rejoined his army. Then, on New Year's Eve in 1503, he got them together inside a room in Sinigalia. Everyone was arrested. Two were put back to back and strangled by Micheletto that very night. The rest were thrown into chains and, and killed a few weeks later. Wow. The amazing thing is that Cesare was so friendly during the months before, they never saw the trap coming. Machiavelli called him the master deceiver. How long do we have before the Templar satellite launch? It's October 8th, so that leaves us with... 74 days. Not much time. Think about all that you've been through in the last month. 74 days is a long time. There we go, let's talk to Rebecca. That disrupted memory seems to be getting clearer. It's amazing. The sequence is repairing itself as if we're helping you work through psychological trauma. So I'm gonna be a more balanced person by the end of this? Oh, I have no clue. But the idea is cool. Are you saying that because you feel guilty about frying his brain? Sean's on the tree duty. Deal. Oh, of course, yeah. You signed with her. Communists. <laughs> Ezio's waiting. That can be <laughs> Yeah, we got three, about four. No, we got... We got... The... Sorry. Assassin's Creed Revelations, then we got... Assassin's Creed 3, then Assassin's Creed Rogue, and then we got two on PS4. Black Flag, and... Sorry about that, guys. Okay, now let's do this. Now we're the leader of the assassins. Revelation shows a very old, well, not very old, but older Enzio. Ezio, La Volpe has uncovered an opportunity too golden to ignore. A gift from the Borgia to the Cento Occhi. It is filled with pardons, promises, and payoffs. Needless to say, it holds great value for our guild if you manage to steal it. Steal the Bagard and the Maria document from the Centro Uchi.
it's rather risky. Up on the rooftops, click, 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 comes Enzio down the tree. Whatever. I can't sing that good. <laughs> Sorry about that. box, the contents of this box, deliver the documents. like it's Grazie Ezio. I will take this to La Volpe. Okay, now. We're on our way here. way.
think I'm taking a horse. Averroes was a hero in infidel black. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a horse. I said we're now the leader of the assassins. Enzio is getting a little older now. Lose a little what we call grizzled. It means he's got a wear and tear to his body. In other words, he's not young and fresh anymore, so. anymore. of Assassin's Creed recreated Europe. I mean England. Yeah. That's not good. Italy. So we can play in it. 
They didn't have to, no. But they wanted to, of course. It's their vision. Reach the perimeter of the Castel Sant'Angelo and confront the Pope inside the Papel apartment. Papel apartment. Or is it Papel? I don't know. I think it's Papel. It's the, the Pope. The Pope. That's the Pope. Remember, if you want to read it, guys, just pause it. Yeah, they make worlds, guys. They they make stuff we can enjoy. They make art. But we, I had to do this. <laughs> I don't like doing it, but I'm an assassin, so it's my job, so I have to do it. Uh, that was too close to the swinging madman over there. He drops. Him. He's getting there, he's dropping. And he twitched and he's dead. Okay. It's a slow acting poison, guys. It's probably cyanide. Or something like that. I don't know what kind of poison they had back then. I'm not an expert. In poisons. <laughs> And there we go, he's gonna start swinging anytime now. He's gonna have his own little private dance party. Yep, there he is. <laughs> that must be some kind of music in his head. Or visions. He's probably seeing a lot of people there, that's why he's swinging. Twitchy twitch, and there we go. How I assassinate guys through the power of poison darts. Let him, you know, fall and then twitch. <laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't hit himself with that sword. <laughs> There we go. See the Pope! His Holiness waits for you at the top of the castell in his apartments. Get out of my way! Sorry about that, guys. Where, you know, where do we gotta go? We gotta go... I guess over here, so...
Thank you, friends. Okay, let me loot these guys and then we'll call it a video. Well, episode. I'm just gonna call it episode for now on, guys. Okay, now, thank you so much for watching. This has been Assassin's Creed. Brother